ONU Shanghai is an international platform. Our students work with many people from different countries, different subjects, taking on different approaches. For your own culture, you need people from inside a culture who can teach you about the culture, but also people from outside. Psychology is a field that prepares you for a broad range of future jobs, not just as psychotherapists, but also in fields such as business, marketing, human resources, education, and research. Students who major in mathematics at NYU Shanghai are a group of 10 to 20 every year, so we know each of them, they know us. We are almost a family. At NYU Shanghai, we're very lucky to have our own high-performance computing environment. Both our faculty members as well as our students are allowed to work on that, to do their projects there. If they have any research or resource-intensive competitions, they can use it. Data scientists need to draw from various fields. You need to know about computer science, math, climatology, etc. So in that sense, data science is also a very broad and interdisciplinary field in its own right. In NYU Shanghai, we conduct research that is very closely related to everyday topics. Students who take psychology courses at NYU Shanghai would learn about a wide range of topics that are directly related to everyday life, in legal practices, in family life, and in everyday social interactions. I like about NYU Shanghai, it's a very international community, so we have students from everywhere. Other thing that is special about us is that we have this association with NYU, so which means the uh, Courant Institute, which is one of the best institutes in mathematics in the world. Now they can benefit group of professors from all around the world. Music can be interpreted from an information perspective, so we develop a, an algorithm that can automatically learn the difference between different acoustic properties and transfer the performance. I use haptic device or magic gloves that you can just put those gloves on your finger, on your hands, and it moves. So you learn the music by feeling about it. We do experiment, we do simulations, we also do theory. We work with mathematicians, biologists, physicists, and engineers over many subjects. For example, right now, I have a student working on how snowflakes fall in the air. And we have also a student working on how continents move over the Earth. We have different subjects, different projects. Those are very rigorous, original research activities, and people have a chance to get involved. So in my course, Shanghai Stories, we read stories that are set in Shanghai and written by authors that were living in Shanghai when they wrote these stories. Part of the course is also that the students have themselves to go to the places in the city that are featuring in the stories to get a better understanding of the stories. And that's exactly also what we do in the course, showing how the history, it's history, but it's still part of Shanghai today and how we can see that literally in the city, but also in the stories. And, and then that really made, became part of sort of a Shanghai identity. Most of us students will spend one year among the four year total outside of Shanghai. For example, they can go to New York or go to Abu Dhabi or another international campus of NYU to enrich their experience during these four years.